Hello to we're taking a look at singleparentlove.com. This is a part of the Cupid Dating Network, and as the name implies, it is for that of single parents. Uh, if you are, you know, have a kid, whether you're male or female, and you're a single parent out there in the world and looking to date others in a similar situation, then this is a network for you. When you sign up here, it's completely free. You can get a standard account. However, if you want to get access to full features, you want to get rid of ads, things like that, you're going to want to look into upgrading your membership here in the top right. Now, when you're browsing the site here, you have a list of profiles that are going to be your recommended matches as soon as you jump in. If you want to improve those recommended matches, you can go ahead and click on the Improve Matches button and answer a lot of uh, basic details about your appearance and lifestyle and more so it can kind of uh, wrap around what you may be interested in. Uh, what you're looking for in the use of a site, whether that means like a relationship, uh, somebody to marry, friendship, what have you, you can go ahead and you know answer all of those questions on the site here. And once you do that, you'll get more tailored results based on your recommended matches here. Now you can also search throughout the users on Single Parent Love. You can do a basic search here, age range, country, state, within a certain uh, mile radius, uh, and if they have a photo or not, or you can go through the popular searches. So for example, you can see the most popular users, latest photos in your area, and this will allow you to see, again, uh, a quick way to browse through people that you uh, may have not ran into otherwise, or you just don't know what to search for. Now, if you find somebody that you're interested in, as you can see here, you can go ahead and click on their profile to get a short preview, for example, Lindsay's profile here. And if they have multiple photos, you can go ahead and easily go through them. If you want to show interest or add to your favorites, you can do that as well. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just keep on browsing through the profiles here. Now, back here at the dashboard, you have a list of profiles as well that you can view through, and you can see a short description of users here. Uh, and if you see somebody that you're interested, you can go ahead and hover over them and get the same icons as far as like you can go ahead and send them a message, you can show interest or favorite. By showing interest, if they show interest back, that creates a mutual match. Adding them to your favorites simply puts them in your favorites category, which allows you to come back to them later on. And if you click on the green icon here, this will take you to their full proof profile, which will show you all of the details of said user. So in this case, Mia here, you can see I see here pictures, I see all of her basic quick view information, I have those similar buttons, show interest or send a message. I can do either of those here. Uh, and then if I scroll down, I get all of the about information. So I get appearance, lifestyle, and background or cultural values. Now, every user's profile will be different. Some of them will have more information. Some of them will have more about me. It could be things like favorite music type, what have you. Some of them may use a Cupid tag, which is part of the Cupid Network's um, site. It all depends on, of course, how much information the user fills out here. Now, aside from that, you have your basic nav at the top. You can see you have the members online right now. So you can see there's only two members online right now. However, if you do want to interact with people who are online at the time that you are, then you can go ahead and click on that tab and see who's online and interact with them. Clicking on matches will take you back to your uh, recommended matches as well as mutual matches and reverse matches. If you are a paid member, you can go ahead and check those out. Again, you have a profile view here. Where you can go ahead and go through users as well. Keeping in mind, you can change that view to your liking depending on how you want to see the users laid out. Now, the search tab is a little bit different than that basic search we looked at on the dashboard. This is more of an advanced search, as you can see here. So you can go well beyond the scope of just age and living range. You can do things like uh, appearance that you're looking for, lifestyle choices, background and cultural values that may interest you, and other settings all right here. Now, this allows you to create a more precise profile as far as if you're looking for a specific somebody on the network. You can go ahead and filter throughout all that by putting in some of these uh, preferences here as far as like eye color or weight, do they drink, do they smoke, again all down to your personal preference. That way it can match you up with somebody more precisely. You can also search through other methods like keyword or cupid tag search as I mentioned. This is a great way to see people who may be interested in similar activities that you may be uh, uses the system that is across all cupid networks here. And you can see all the popular cupid tag clouds that you can go ahead and search through. Now, next to that is your messages tab. This is your basic inbox. Most of these features are limited to that of an upgraded membership. Otherwise, the basic you know, communication, if you message a user, will go ahead and happen through this inbox. And last but not least, you have your activity tab, which will show you activity towards you as well as activity from you. So for example, earlier, I showed interest in a user. She'll show up here. The same thing would go with your favorites. And if a user has done it to you, then you can go ahead and see all the activity that you've received from other users. All right, so that's single parent love. Again, if you are in the network looking for a dating site that caters to that of, you know, whether you're male, female, young or old, then you have a kid and you're a single parent out there in the world uh, looking to, again, date or connect with somebody, head over to singleparentlove.com.